Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Does this look like a tourist attraction to you? Well, it is, and part of Savannah's Factors Walk. Factors Walk. It is a location behind River Street, behind the buildings on River Street, uh, and next to Bay Street. And that is the area where the cotton factors, or the people that used to determine the prices of cotton, uh, back when cotton was sold out of Savannah pre, uh, pre-Civil War, uh, they, were, they operated out of this location. This is where the uh, cotton exchange was, and people from all over the world would uh, come here to purchase cotton uh, and, and get wholesale cotton here out of, uh, out of the South. So uh, this area right here, you can see the old cobblestones and all that, and it's actually in three levels. And I'm going to walk through, and I'm going to show you every single level. Uh, You can see out there where the river is. That is River Street, where all the tourists go and all the shops are. Everybody goes to River Street. And uh, everybody has to, uh, you know, pretty much go across Factors Walk. If you look to your left there, it goes behind all those buildings there. You can see the two or three different levels there. And then I'm going to walk through this section right here. And you can see um, that this is really old. Uh, You have uh, a really kind of a spooky (laughs) kind of a situation here. Um, A lot of the hotels and restaurants and everything, this is kind of like their lower level some of them get deliveries on this side, that kind of thing. Uh, you can see these old steps that uh, you know that that help you get from level to level. And this is this would be the second level, and uh, you can see where people park for the businesses and stuff here. Now there aren't as many touristy kind of businesses on this side, uh, and this is not a place that you would want to go at night. Uh, this is not a place where you wouldn't want to walk through unless you were with some people, um, you know, because it really is a, a dark uh, area. It's, you know, could be a dangerous area. So, um, but a lot of people like to go through here and they say that it's haunted and things like that. And it would be spooky for sure at night. So, um, this shows the second level. And then you can see another set of steps out there in front of me. And uh, I'll, you know, I'll go up those here in a minute. But um, all of this area, like I said, uh, there were buildings that faced Bay Street um, that were cotton warehouses, um, other type of mercantile businesses. uh, Since Savannah was such a big port, uh, and I mean an international port, a lot of times people in Georgia, we just, well, it's Savannah. You know, we don't think that it's, uh, you know, how... You know, big of a deal internationally. This uh, this port is uh, even today, or even more today. You know, ships from all over the world uh, come through the Savannah port, the port of Savannah, and it wasn't any different back then. Um, the factors would be the people, like I said, that would set the prices for uh, for cotton that would be sent to all the uh, manufacturing countries in Europe, like Britain and France and Germany. Um, so you would have people, you know, from all over the world that would come here. Um, now, as you walk out of Factors Walk, and to my left is Factors Walk, and to my right is Bay Street. Now, um, once you come up here on this level, you're going to see some gardens and some landscaping and parking and things like that. Uh, here's the Hyatt Regency. Um, this is uh, City Hall. There's actually a, a elevator right there at City Hall to get down to River Street. Um, so I'm just going to kind of walk along here and show you uh, pretty much the length of uh, Factors Walk. And, you know, it's kind of interesting when I was down, you know, down there and I walked around in there, I, I never saw a uh, sign or anything that said Factors Walk. I'm sure there's probably one somewhere. Uh, that you can see that that'll identify where you are, but basically it's the front of those buildings over there that we're facing. Um, that talks about one of the companies that was you know was was there back in the heyday of um, of the cotton industry. Um, all of these buildings here, and, and and you know there's still some really cool things to see. Um, you know down there at that bottom part, you know where you're on the bottom level, 
uh, it, it's kind of, you know, a little sketchy. But once you get up here, um, there are some places that you can go to. There's some restaurants, some nice restaurants. Um, and then there are a lot of just regular businesses, law offices, um, things like that. Um, most of the second level, you can see right here, the second level is being used. But in a lot of the buildings here, the second level is not really accessible to, to being used. Like, you know, you wouldn't go down there and go into a restaurant or go into a shop. That city hall from the back side that you can see right there. Um, but again, you know, these buildings, the back of these buildings are what you see in the basements or what a lot of people go into on the River Street. So a lot of these buildings look like they're not occupied, but they're occupied um, in the lower levels. There's a restaurant behind me there, and of course you see all the beautiful live oaks. <clears throat> you can really see down into the second level there for, uh, for Factors Walk or Factors Row. Sometimes you'll see it called Factors Row uh, because it was you know a row of buildings where the uh, Factors were. Uh, there's another little restaurant that you can eat outside uh, and again, you can see Bay Street there facing that way. And uh, as you walk through here, you still see just these beautiful buildings. And this is the, the Cotton Exchange, the Savannah Cotton Exchange. Um, you know, no telling how much money has passed hands through that, through that building. Um, I think it was also, the, the, I'm going to walk back here in a minute uh, and you'll see some other information about it. But uh, you can see the, the craftsmanship in, in a lot of these buildings is just spectacular if you just slow down and take time to look at it um, and get up close and things like that. <clears throat> but most of this, as you walk through, um, is, is not like a big draw, really, for a lot of tourists. Uh, and there's a few little shops there, like there's a little shop. Um, but it's nothing like River Street. Uh, you don't have the view that you that you have from River Street. Um, you don't have you know as many options of, of places to go into and, and see as you do on River Street or a lot of the other streets in Savannah. Period. Um, but it is interesting, especially if you're a history buff, to go into this area and then go down there and just see, you know, look at the bricks. Uh, there's different kinds of bricks. There's different. Um, there's different things that you can see historically as you go through there and just to know, like I said, what all has occurred, you know, everything from, from, um, the cotton trade to slave trade to, you know, everything else that you can think of has come through that port and, and back then was, was just like today, um, this is an interesting little bridge here. I don't really know the meaning of all these locks, uh, but there's locks all down through here, and they have people's names on them and things like that. Um, there's one of the prettier buildings, I thought. Uh, I think it's a, a little restaurant there. A couple of pigeons. You're always going to have pigeons when you're downtown. There's, one, there's a, a second-level business down there, and um, I think it's a... Um, a um, fortune teller <laughs> down there on the second level. Um, here's some other buildings here. Uh, it's not as it's not as long of a walk as River Street, um, but there there's still a lot to see. And uh, like I said, some of it's not all that attractive. Like you know, this section down through here is just businesses. There you can see over the top of that roof to see the Savannah River and the convention center and hotels over there. Um, this is a really pretty uh, end, kind of down at the end of the of the all the lines of uh, major line of buildings on River Street. Um, this hotel, the Old Harbor Inn, ends, and uh, they use the second level right there. <clears throat> Have a real pretty courtyard and parking and things like that um, for that end there. And this is pretty much. Um, where Factors Walk ends. Like right here where I am right now is, is the end of Factors Walk. And I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go back uh, kind of from the Bay Street side facing toward Factors Walk and show you some of the historical uh, things that they have there. There's a lot of uh, things like the Old Harbor Light. It says it was put there in the 1850s. 
it was it says it stood 77 feet above a uh, river river level that's hard to say river level uh, you can see some of the old anchors and things like that they have from uh, the old ships that would go this way and there's a good view of the light and where it stood and it was an important beacon you know they, they didn't have of course all the things we have today radar and sonar and all that kind of stuff they had to use a map and look at lights and look at stars um, this is the uh, Chatham Artillery uh, Monument and uh, they, that's a very interesting history to that a uh, monument to Jane Collier uh, she apparently housed uh, says Savannah's Liberty Boys so some of the uh, people that were in favor of the revolution against the British were housed at her house um, I'm coming up on here the Vietnam Memorial uh, for Savannah and uh, you can't see it well there but there's like a helmet and uh, up on top of a rifle and a pair of boots on top of that and um, then it has the names inscribed of all the veterans that, that died during the Vietnam War from uh, Chatham County or I, I don't know if it's Chatham County in the surrounding area or just Chatham County um, Savannah's Irish in, in Robert Emmett Park there's a uh, tremendous Irish history here in, in Savannah and um, this is a uh, monument <clears throat> to uh, to Robert Emmett and the Irish uh, that settled here there were um, a large number of Germans also that settled here there'll be a monument you'll see here in a minute for them um, this was a, a United States Marine Corps monument that is out there in this park Emmett Park and it's a real pretty park. There's a lot of parks. If, you know, I haven't been to those yet. I'll show you those later in some of these in some of our later videos. Uh, the Georgia Hussars. Um, that uh, was a a group of Rangers that were that were um, led by General Oglethorpe, um, who settled this colony, and they fought against the uh, the. Native Americans that were here, things like that, the Spanish. And there's a monument and a plaque to the Salzburgers from Austria, uh, Germans from Austria that came here. Uh, a lot of people aren't aware of the Germans that were here. They, they know about the Irish, but uh, don't know about the Germans that, that were here. And they were here at a very early time in Georgia's history as well. There's several things here that you can see. Here's a uh, the bell from the Cotton Exchange. Um, they kind of give you the history of the bell right here. And um, it was not made here. It was made overseas. I believe <clears throat> they said it was made in Amsterdam or the Netherlands. Um, yeah, Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And so um, that shows that. Um, here's another monument uh, that shows that this was the Cotton Exchange and uh, tells you about it and um, information about that and then there's a uh, fountain out in front of that you can see all the tourists back there in the background on one of the uh, tour buses that they had a guy out there you know telling them the history of the area and um, this also was the uh, the masonic lodge and the first leader of it was james oglethorpe who was the founder of georgia uh, here's, this is also where the University of Georgia was started, um, and it, it wasn't, it, you know, it didn't meet here, but it was, uh, it was uh, founded. Uh, these are Washington's guns, it tells a history of those there. And this is where the first colonists landed, James Oglethorpe landed with the first colonists for the colony of Georgia <clears throat> right across from the Hyatt Regency uh, where the Hyatt Regency here is on the Savannah River and um, here I'm back to uh, basically the area where I started at Factors Walk um, I continued to walk I'm going to show you a couple other things here but um, there's a lot of monuments and things to look at in history that you can go back there and you can read uh, if you want to go down Factors Walk or Factors Row and look. Uh, and again, it is very interesting to see. Um, you know, there's another set of the steps from, this, from the third level down to the second level. 
Um, you know, again, you can see all these uh, bridges or whatever you want to call them built over. Uh, there's another couple of businesses there that are on the, uh, I guess that would still be considered the first level. When you get down to the end, um, this is where all a lot of the modern new buildings are. And you can see the big difference, of course, uh, if you stroll down through this area. Um, it's called the Plant Riverside District. And once you get down there onto the cobblestone road, uh, it will fork to the right. Uh, down the road here a little ways and then that will be where the um, the factors row begins so um, and when you get down here you see a big difference all the businesses all that kind of thing all the tourist things that you want to see so thanks for watching guys Nichols Retirement Empire we'll be putting up some more videos about Savannah and touring Savannah hope you guys are enjoying these and uh, if you ever get a chance, make sure you come down to Savannah and see what all it has to offer. And the history there is, is so interesting, and you'll have a really good time. Thanks, guys.